your smart speaker. Get that feeling. Hot Walk. Amazing, tasty Asian cuisine. Hit News Briefing. Hello, it's Matt Layton with you. A man has been shot dead by police at the scene of an alleged domestic violence dispute in Sydney southwest. A critical incident investigation is underway after the 29-year-old was shot in the chest in Yaguna this morning. The man was treated at the scene but later died in Liverpool Hospital. A body has been found in the search for a missing swimmer on Sydney's northern beaches. An 18-year-old man failed to return to shore at Freshwater Beach last night. The body recovered this morning is yet to be formally identified. Meanwhile, a man's body has been recovered from a popular swimming spot in Melbourne's east. The 38-year-old was reported missing while paddleboarding at Listerfield Lake yesterday. His death is not being treated as suspicious. The Workplace Relations Minister warns issues stemming from potentially deadly engineered stone will be with us for years. The National Work Safety Watchdog is looking into a silica products ban following a meeting of federal and state ministers. Tony Burke has told Sky News regardless of what a ban would look like, the products will leave a large impact. No matter what we do, this will be a problem in Australia for the next 40 or 50 years. Because mm. while whoever might have engineered stone in their kitchen or bathroom at the moment, it's installed, it's safe, it's not going to cause them a problem. The moment they come to renovate, we're going to be back in the same sort of world we've been with, with asbestos. And the James Bond spy novels could be next in a list of works to be revised. There are concerns some text and passages are not appropriate for readers today. Together with Beyond Blue, Australia Post is delivering the goods by connecting millions of households with mental health information. It's another way Australia Post is delivering for Australia. The NRL has already come down hard on two players in the first week. Cronulla co-captain Wade Graham is facing up to four games on the sidelines. For his high shot on South Sydney's Davy Moali. Canberra winger Jordan Rappiner is also facing up to a four-game ban for his shoulder charge on Scott Drinkwater in the loss to the Cowboys. Australia has moved to the quarterfinals of the Vancouver Rugby Sevens. The men's side downing Ireland 21 points to seven. And Alex Dimonor is facing off against Tony Paul in the final of the Creation Series. Creation Series. Creation Series. Creation Skies for the rest of your Sunday in Mackay and the Wit Sundays. We're dropping to 22 tonight. A possible shout tomorrow and 30 degrees. More of the same on Tuesday and Wednesday. Don't forget the listener app is the home of your local news. Join out to listen live or on demand. Let's